everyone, my name is Sandra and welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to share this with you. It is a subscription box from Cloth and Paper. This is the very first order or subscription box I have ever received. And I wanted to share it with you guys because I feel like maybe this is not that popular where I'm from. I'm from Edmonton, Alberta. And maybe there aren't a lot of people who know about this. So I'm pretty sure the owner of the company is called Ashley and her company is in Virginia, if I'm not mistaken, that's where she's from. So without further ado, we're going to get into this unboxing. And just to let you know, I ordered the stationery subscription box as well as the Penspiration, which is an additional part of the subscription box that you can have an add-on. So I did that and I'm not sure if I'm going to continue this, but I just wanted to share this with you and show you the types of products that you can get from cloth and paper. And so if you guys are aware, I do have a Franklin planning video. So Franklin Covey, I have a binder. It's this lovely binder here, the Teresa Collins binder um, in blush. And I am going to be planning in this for starting in January, but I'm tentatively starting now just to, you know, get the lay of the land and see how I like planning in a Franklin Kobe binder. Uh, P.S. I love it. So I'm going to link that video, uh, the, the one I've done, the Franklin Kobe planner haul. And um, keep tuned because I will have a video of how I plan monthly or how I plan on planning monthly in, in that uh, planner. And then also I will have a January setup and show you exactly how I'm going to be using it and how everything is set up. Um, I'm just playing around right now and creating my own dividers and figuring out how I want the layout to look. So without further ado, we're going to look at what's inside this box. So now I was so curious. So I have already opened the box. I haven't taken out any of the paper products or the stationery. So we'll look at that together. But first we're gonna take a look at the pens. I'm gonna use some HP Premium 32 paper uh, just to see what the pens look like on paper. And so I was a little nervous about getting this penspiration thing because I am a particular when it comes to my pens. My favorite pens so far are my Pentel Energel. I love the 0.7 millimeter and also the Paper Mate Inkjoy in black. I really like the one millimeter, but I also use the 0.7. And most of these are 0.5. I think they all are. So, um, and these are from anywhere in the world and everything's fair game. You, know, you could get various colors. So it's a little nerve wracking because you don't know what you're going to get. And so this plastic thing was covering this little plastic case that you can keep pens in. So I might keep this handy. And this green pen was actually in here. Okay, so the first pen, this is my least favorite. I've already taken the little um, globs off on the end just to try them out. This one, um, I think half of them I won't be able to read because, um, let's see if it came with explaining what they were. Penspiration board. Take a look at what inspired our July 2021 pen box. Well, this is the actual pen test sheet, so I guess I could have written it on here. So, but I've already got this paper out, so I'll just keep that. So I can't tell what this is because it's all in Japanese or Chinese, but it is a 0.5 and it's brown. So feels like a gel pen. But you know what? It writes really nice. I just don't really like brown. Um, if it was black, that probably would have been a better option. And I like it. It is all plastic. And I like it because it's so lightweight. That's one of the, the nice things about lightweight pens. It doesn't hurt your hand. My Pentel Energel pen is um, aluminum alloy and it's really heavy. So it's a good quality pen. But, you know, sometimes it's just nice to have a nice light pen to write with. So the next pen is actually this fineliner. So this is the D. 
5 with a DS, DS eye color pen. DS eye color. I'll write that down. DS eye color. Um, and a fine liner, it's 0 0.4 millimeter. So I like this because purple is my favorite color, but I'm also obsessed with all the colors of a certain pack. I, I It does kind of bug me that I don't have every single color. So if I do find a pen I like, I would have to try to figure out where this was from and try to track it down. One of my favorite places to go actually is Stationery Pell. They have an awesome array of different types of pens. All right, the next one, we'll check out this one. So this, um, again, Delhi, Delhi, I don't know, I can't really make out, there's a couple of Chinese or Japanese characters in there, it's a 0.5, it looks, the part that I can read says Delhi, ooh, it's a bright green, so from here, it kind of looks like it could be teal, right, but it's actually a bright spring green, which is actually quite pretty. And it writes similar to how the brown one did. Um, again, they're gel ink. Okay, the next one is this pretty purple pen. Um, as far as looks go, I think this is my favorite one on the outside. So you can see the ink moving around in here. It is a needle tip, which I absolutely love. I love those so much. Um, I can't read a single thing, but I'm just gonna call it purple. And I love this pen. I'm pretty sure it's a 0.5. Let's see if I can read that portion on it. Yeah, very, very tiny. It says 0.5 millimeter, but I love that it's black. I love that it's a needle tip. Um, very nice pen. So this is going to become one of my favorites. And I would do like a smudge test. I should be doing a smudge test, I guess. Ooh. But it's also different in every type of paper you use. So whether you're using Franklin Covey paper, this is HP Premium 32. And on this, it's got a little bit more tooth than what this does. So it might not smear as easy as on here. But you know what? So far, this one didn't smear at all, which is pretty good. Um, it's liquid ink, so this is probably my favorite pen so far. <laughs> okay, now this cool one in this protective plastic case. So this is Macaron. Macaron. Let's see. Also 0.5. I like this one too. It's kind of a fancy pen. Okay. So... I think I, I think it's I think it's gel, but it kind of writes like a ballpoint. I don't know, maybe it's a ballpoint pen. This one I'm actually finding it hard to figure it out. I think it's gel though. Let's see. This doesn't really tell you much, but it kind of writes like a gel. Okay, so if I was to order these. Oops. Wait, I think I just broke it. I shouldn't have opened it up. There we go. If I was to order these in like my favorite to least favorite, the purple one comes first. That's the needle tip. Then this cute green one because I love the outside of it. It's almost like it's not perfectly circular. It's got like these weird angles, but I like that. And it's a pretty heavy pen. Um, and then probably, I kind of like that green one actually, then the purple fine liner and then the brown one. So I'm, I think I'll keep this for another month just to see where it goes because um, I love pens. So <laughs> we'll see and maybe we'll find some good ones. So I'm going to keep them in this plastic container thing for now just to figure out where I'm going to put everything. I do have a stationary slash desk tour coming soon so um, yeah you guys will see the calamity that is my desk area and um, you should check it out because I've got tons and tons of pens and brush pens. All right so in saying that let's get into the rest of this box. 
So now we've got this little sheet that tells us what everything is. So there's this, so I don't know how to say that, Suigne, so Suigne, reusable pouch. So this is probably something that you could stash all of your sticky notes or basically anything you want, but it's clear, which is kind of nice. The aesthetic of clear plastic, I think is, is um, all the rage right now. People like the clear dividers, they like everything to be clear. So this is kind of cute. You, you could even use it for small things in, in your purse. So if you wanted to put like eye drops or lip stuff or, you know, makeup bag or something and put this in your purse so it's easy to find, that's a good idea too. The next thing is this cute little journaling card. So this must be a freebie because it's not on the card. It just says, just start. Don't worry that you don't have all the answers yet. And then it repeats. And it's by Ali Webb, and it's, you know, it's it's very neutral. I like that. Um, it just says, this month is all about travel and exploring new places. With that being said, write about your dream vacation. And yes, because I have a Franklin planner, I did get half half letter unpunched. And I do have a whole punch for a Franklin planner. So the first one is the 2021 Horizontal Weekly for September. So we will open that up because, you know what, I haven't done that yet. We need to see what's in the box. So there's room for notes. Okay, that's kind of cute. I like that because I like seeing the week at a glance. Okay, that's September, so I must have it backwards. This is the front. Wow. Okay. So S for September. Nope. Now it's upside down. What is going on here? There we go. <laughs> so it starts August 30th and goes to September. Yeah, I like this because I like seeing the week on like one spread because then you can just jot down stuff that like appointments and upcoming events and then go into your dailies, which I have. So that's cool. It's on bright white paper. It's, you know, almost kind of like under under cardstock, but it's fairly thick paper. It's not completely smooth like the HP Premium 32, but I wouldn't use brush pens on this paper, but uh, it's nice. I think it would be good to write with ballpoint or, or gel. And then notes at the back, and then this is just garbage. So I can hole punch that. The next thing is a packing list. So let's see what this is all about. And now that I know what side it opens from. So it says essentials, clothing, toiletries, technology, and shoes. And then on the back is just like these blank little list areas that you can write stuff. So that's kind of helpful to put in your planner. Okay, the next thing is the daily itinerary. So you can basically uh, write down what you're doing, the weather, notes, meals, and just stuff throughout the day because it's got um, a.m. to p.m. on here. And it feels like there's quite a bit of paper in this one. Yeah, that's handy. So one page is like one day. So that's handy. Of course, they are not dated. You can put the date at the top here. And then we've got some dashboards. So there's this one. Okay, it's actually quite long. I'm not going to read it all, but... It just says down at the bottom, to commit to purpose within your travels is to truly engage in the world around you by Lauren O. And, or maybe that's by Kaylin H. I don't know which one's which, but it basically talks about traveling. So I'll probably put this in my Franklin planner just to see how it looks. But it's really heavy duty cardstock, so that's kind of nice. And then this one is a vellum dashboard. I, I do have my own vellum dashboards that I created, 
I just bought some vellum from Michaels, but this is a little bit of a thicker vellum. I don't have one like that. It says, I saw that my life was a fast growing empty page and I could do anything I wanted by J. Carol. Carol? I'm not sure, but that's kind of nice too. I like the uh, material. And then a lot of people, what people do is they layer the the vellum over top of the other dashboard. You don't have to, you can put them in your planner separate, but that's what I've seen a lot of people do. Then we have some sticky notes. So it says palette volume one, Angora, Mojito and Cypress. Circle sticky note, 25 sheets each. And these are just regular paper. They're not uh, vellum or anything. But the color palette is very neutral, very pretty. Then we've got some spotlight page flags. I think these are vellum. They look like vellum. So they've got these little dots. They're quite cute. They've got a set of three, and it looks like there's quite a few in each one. So I like how small this is, and you can just glue it onto your dashboard if you wanted to in your planner. This is very cute, and the colors are a bit more gray, so they're, yeah, definitely gray, but it still works well. And then the last couple of things, I've got this travel sticker pack. You could probably just put these on your empty bottles, I guess, that's what they're for. But they are clear stickers, so that's good. Transparent. Not that I'm traveling anywhere, but you know, why not? And then the last thing is like this little month card. So it is for September. So you get the kind of clear transparent card. You get the paper card. Then you get these two little freebies. So it says exceptional to, cre or to create something exceptional. Your mind must be focused on the smallest detail. And this one says you still have a lot of time to make yourself be what you want. And then it repeats. So those are cute. And people put these in the front pockets of their binders or their planners. So those are cute. And that's all she wrote, folks. So um, yeah, I kind of like, I like this. It's really simple. It's elegant. Um, all of these different inserts. I know a lot of people get cloth and paper for these like dashboards. So I'm going to start doing that myself. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe and click on that bell button to be notified every time I upload a new video. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Yeah.